Hello, in this session we are going to talk about Terraform providers. Now since Terraform uh, can be used for a variety of cloud providers, so we can use Terraform to provision our infrastructure on multiple cloud and other type of providers. We should be able to tell Terraform where we want to create the resources, right? So there should be a way for us, the users, to tell Terraform where we want to create our resources or basically which provider we want to use. So now we know that Terraform can be used to provision the infrastructure on AWS. You can provision it on Azure, GCP, DigitalOcean and also a variety of other cloud providers. But how do I say Terraform that, okay, I want to create my resources on AWS or I want to create my resources on Azure or I want to create on GCP. So this is where we can make use of your Terraform providers to tell Terraform that, okay, I want to create my resources on AWS or any other cloud platform. So this is where your providers can uh, help you. So these providers are nothing but plugins so terraform relies on these plugins we call them as your providers and using these providers terraform will interact with the respective cloud uh, platform so if i say my uh, provider is aws then terraform will start interacting with the aws resources likewise if i tell the provider is azure terraform will start interacting with the azure resources so when we write the Terraform configuration, the first thing we will have to do is we have to tell Terraform which provider we are going to use so that Terraform can download or install that provider and it can start using that to create the resources for us. All right. Now each provider, what it does is it simply adds a set of resource types, basically like an EC2 resource or an S3 resource or a VPC resource and also some data source that Terraform can manage for us. Now every resource type it is implemented by the provider. So without the provider Terraform will not be able to manage the resources for us. So without these providers Terraform cannot manage any of the infrastructure. So Terra the providers are mandatory. So providers is what Terraform uses to understand which infrastructure or which cloud infrastructure it has to manage so providers are distributed separately by terraform itself all right so these providers are provided by terraform and each provider has its own release cadence and also the version number so you have different different released versions that you can take based on your requirement so each provider also has its own documentation which basically gives you a detailed description about what are the various resource types are available and also what are the arguments that we can use with those resource types i will show you where we can get this documentation so all of these documentations are available on a registry we call it as your terraform registry and this includes all the documentation for the various providers that Terraform supports. Now these providers are developed by HashiCorp. You also have third party vendors and also the community. So there are like thousands of providers that you can choose from and all these providers are created by different different people. Now you can see the various providers in the below link so if you click on this link you should be able to see the um, various providers that are available for us so here registry.terraform.io and this is where you can see the provider so here you can see you have aws azure gcp kubernetes alibaba cloud oracle cloud and likewise you have other platforms as well which can be used as your providers so let's say we will be looking at AWS and when I click on AWS here uh, you, you can also see the documentation. So here you see this documentation when you click on that you should be able to see the documentation for AWS provider. So here on the left hand side you can see the list of services that we can use the resource types that we can create using Terraform. Now to use these resources from your given provider 
you will need to include some information about the resources that you want to create in your configuration or in your code so this is how you can declare your uh, provider block in your terraform configuration code so the first line that you see here this is where i am giving the provider or the plugin that uh, terraform should be using so we are using we are creating a provider block and then which provider we want to use so in my case i am going with aws and terraform will when i run this terraform will download this plugin or the provider and it will start creating the resources for aws then i have declared the profile which is basically the permissions or the authorization so terraform will be creating the resources for us right so terraform will need the necessary permissions so that it can start creating the resources so uh, we will talk about your authorization more in detail later on and then the region so in which region you want to create the resources so this is an example provider block uh, we will talk about your example scripts later on there i'll show you how we can use it but this is how you will have to write your provider block without this terraform will not be able to work or understand the code that you're going to write or create any resources for us so that's about your terraform providers that's all i have for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video.